Hello everybody and welcome back to Crumbback. Now in the previous episode we were very, very busy. I said that at the beginning of every episode, I've just realised. Yeah, we're very busy in every episode, but we are. We are very busy. Yeah, we were very busy in here. Sorting out the pallet hall, producing pallets of pellets, and pelletising in the fields. Now the pelleting is done. We just need to keep palletizing the pellets. <laughs> it's a bit of a mouthful. But yeah, we've got loads. Still got loads and loads here. I don't know if we can see the grand total. No, we can't. Okay. Well, it's a big job, but we have another job to do alongside this. We're going to have to keep moving these pallets off the conveyor belt to keep that going. And yeah, at the same time, we're going to have to start drilling the fields with winter crops because it is August. Actually, we should probably move on to uh, September because we might not be able to do it just yet. We could do canola, but yeah, we've got film number nine, film number 38, 45 and fill number one. Fill number four is a grass field which actually should be cut as well for hay. So that is another thing. I guess actually, yeah, because we are a little bit early for drilling, we should do the hay. But yeah, first things first, we've got to remove these pallets from the conveyor belt because, as I said, it actually stops the system. Well, it will do when that next pallet has been produced. keep it going and yeah as I established it's a little bit tight in this area for loading the trailer and we can't side load that close because it just basically is uneven you can't really pull out with the tines properly so we're just gonna have to drive a little bit further with the forklift and do it there but actually that is probably faster because we don't get stuck every time I just realized we're wearing gloves I'm not too sure why I'll probably have to <laughs> remove those anyway yeah, let's just do these two. I do like the industrial forklifts. Really, we should have the beacon on. The strobe. This is just the one that the store owns. I've sort of stolen it, but we'll give it back. We're borrowing it. For free. Bit naughty. They haven't noticed. And no, I'm not going to keep driving around the other side. We'll do this side and then we'll spin around with the tractor. Ah, no. It's one of those ones that gets stuck. I hate it when that happens. Yeah, that's such a pain. Ah! Sorted. Right, so we just have the telehand... Oh, crikey, there's another one. Right, we'll do that. With the telehandler, we need to just make sure that is full of pellets, the bucket, so we're keeping it going. We don't want to run out. What I'll do is I'll keep time-lapsing doing this loading as well between mowing ah joy this seems to be uh, a common occurrence there we go the forklift can have a rest but the telehandler can't because that hopper is actually empty it's taken a whole lot Craggy. still looking to get a bigger bucket for the telehandler it's always very useful and it's like a hopper extension because if you leave it full in the tip position it just extends what the hopper is holding because it will take you when it requires it little spillage there we'll get that cleared up but yeah we're going to have to get the Massey Ferguson going actually would it be the Massey Ferguson? Yeah, I guess it would be with the mower should be a sufficient tractor. Uh, I can't remember if I rented those mowers. I think I bought them. I think we actually already owned the rear one and I bought the front one. A couple more. And the last one. This one probably won't be taken fully. Oh, there's another pallet. Oh no. Floor pallets. Did I just tip the entire bucket on the ground? I pretty much did. <laughs> That's not good. In you go. Ah, oh, it's getting worse. Right. Oh no, it really is getting worse. At least you can have a laugh at my expense. Right, okay. Come on then, pallet. There we go. 
Nice, and that one didn't fall off. And that is actually all of that side done. This is the problem, I spend so much time actually doing all this. We're never actually going to get another job started. Well, we're going to have to. We'll just get that spun round. There we go. Make sure we can get out with the Matty Ferguson. Yeah, we should be able to go around. The baler will be required, but not just yet. And yes, we do have the windrower as well. So we don't have to rent a windrower, which I had to do before. Well, I didn't have to. I actually got a bit confused, which uh, is no surprise. So there we have the mowers. We'll get the front one first. Oh, crikey. Just destroyed my front mower. Now for the rear one. Surely I can't destroy that one as well. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no, I've just dropped the front one again. Just if it wasn't broken enough in the first place, we would just just throw it on the ground. Right, the time has come to head to this field. Uh, I don't know if you can go that way. Uh, no. No, we shall go this way. It looks like we have a good crop, looking very lush. Although I haven't really given it much attention, have I? I think I might have fertilised and spread it once. Oh, but then it is grass, so it might already have a double application. Yeah, it's perfect. Really good. Right, front mower. Down we go. Rear mower. Across we go. Nice. And I guess we should get as close to the boundary as possible. But we don't need a swath because, yeah, it needs to dry. This is going to be hay, not silage. Actually, this feels kind of weird. I should be going the other way around the field. But the tractor can run it fine. It's quite happy with this setup. And I don't think we'll ever actually change our mower setup because we're never going to need that much grass and this field generates plenty. So, yeah, it's all good. Turn. Lovely. Right then. Let's get this field cut, but like I said, I will just leave off probably halfway through and move the pallets because it will stop the production, which is very inefficient. Loving the length of this grass though. So we have got the production line cleared again, get three more pallets produced and we should hopefully get this field done in that time. So if we can help it, yeah there shouldn't be any uh, downtime at all in the factory which we really, really do not want. Uh, it's actually funny because when you sat there waiting for those pallets to be produced, they're really slow but it looks like you can actually produce three in no time at all. Uh, anyway, yes, we'll give us a bit of time for the grass to dry just me role playing there. Of course we'll have to get the tether to turn it all over and let the sun bake the other side. Then we can bring our windrower in. Maybe it's actually worth buying a tether. I'm not too sure if we I don't think we have one. I don't know. Uh, no, we'll probably buy one. But at least we don't have to get a windrower. So I'll just finish off here. And I'll probably time lapse finishing loading that trailer which we'll go and sell. We'll sell a load of pa uh, pallets of pellets. <laughs> that is just getting like a massive mouthful. 
Why must they both begin with P? We actually could get three across, but no, we won't, we won't push it. Anyway, I just wanted to leave this little bit for now, just so I could show you it in real time. It's very satisfying, I find, watching the very last piece being mowed. Just like when you're harvesting, watching the last bit being fed into the combine, especially if it's the last field of the year. Uh, but there we go. Done. Lovely. Fold that up. Fold that up. Nice. So... Yeah, we're still going to keep using the Massey Ferguson tractor for all of the field operations over here. So we are going to have to take the mowers off. Uh, I'm just wondering how I can actually get around bringing the tether back and selling the pallets. I guess we could just put it on the front of the tractor. It should work. I think the, uh, the Fent has got a front three-point linkage. So, yeah, it should be fine. We can also now spread slurry again on that field. Still aiming for, um, oh, I keep doing this all wrong. Useless. <laughs> yeah, still aiming for the umbilical system. We are going to be doing it, but we need the money. And there's, I know I've seen comments already saying, oh, why are you gonna waste time and money on that? You can just get a much cheaper and faster and wider alternative, like a tanker. But, no, I don't want to do that, because it's boring. I want to do different stuff. The umbilical system is fun. It's not all about money. So, yeah, we'll just leave that there for now. We'll get into this tractor. We must empty this trailer. It actually looks like we have about half of what we had in the previous load, because I've stacked it differently. But, yeah, not to worry. It's not too far to go. We've still got 20,000 litres on board. That's not bad. Very good. Okay, I'll see you over at the cell point. Okay. Oops. Oh no, miss one. Well, still good. Come on, pallet, slide across. We have fifty-eight thousand pounds, so I think yeah, about eighteen thousand pounds there. Pretty good. Now we mustn't forget the tether. As I said, I think we're going to buy it. It would make sense. So, tethers, tethers, where are the tethers? Where are the tethers? Uh, ah, we do own one, apparently. It's not the one I want, though, so that, that does need to be sold. But where on earth is it? I haven't even seen it. It must be lurking in the shed. If I just really quickly tab through these, there it is. It's there somewhere. Ah, <laughs> right, well, we'll get that taken to the store and we will get it sold. Yeah, it's just not big enough. So we can get five and a half thousand pounds back for that. It all helps. We don't need to get the biggest. Crazy, that that's only 0 0.3 meters wider and it takes twice the power. Crikey. Um. It's only £500 more. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm still really tempted to go with the Vicon. So I will do. It's not that expensive. I can stick that on the front. Just going to have to lift up my pallet fork. Uh, there we go. close. <laughs> There's not much space with the front loader. It's all quite compact. 
Okay then, we're going to have to go and clear those pallets again, but then after that we can do the tedding. So we'll leave that there. Let's just see what the situation is. Like I said, I will time lapse it. Oh, we're full. Full and stopped. Wow, it couldn't be any worse. Or you could say it couldn't be any better. And here we are, with the tether. Yeah, we don't need anything bigger than this. This is perfectly adequate. It's a good size for this sort of size field and for the only being one field. Yeah, we'll get this done in probably four minutes, maybe five. Makes all the difference, but that's looking good. I like this tractor a lot. I can see myself never getting rid of this. This will still be in our inventory at the end of the series. But we will have to get a more powerful tractor because we're already lacking power in other departments. So, um, yeah, we're saving up for something like a 500 horsepower tractor. Sounds ridiculous, but we really do need it. If we're going to be pelleting again, we don't really want to be renting the tractor. And that pelleter really does love to have at least 500 horsepower, even though it says like 350. So, yeah. We'll aim for a 500 at some point. It's probably some time away. Anyway, this is going to be the winter's food for the cows. Total mixed ration. Haven't actually checked upon the cows for a while. I probably should just have a quick look. They're all good. 24,000 litres of milk. Almost 25. Oh yeah, when is the best price? That is quite important. We're going to have to buy a tanker as well. Milk, best price, September and January. Okay, perfect. Next month, good timing, I'm pleased I checked. So, yeah, oh look at that, it looks so good. Love the contrast between when it's been turned over and when it hasn't. Hay and grass, essentially. Although this is technically semi, well, it's not technically semi-dry. <laughs> in real life it is. In, the, in this game, that is actually hay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, let's get it done. Well, our last pallet for now. More being produced over there though. And just a tiny amount of pellets left in storage. So we've actually almost finished. Hard to believe. That's two whole fields worth of straw pallets. Almost fully palletized. Yeah, if you do another job at the same time, 
you soon get them produced. Right, let me just get back into that telehandler. This is the final bit I wanted to show you. I didn't want to empty this in a time lapse. I think we should empty it. Yeah, 56%. And it looks like there is space in the hopper for that. Done. Okay, so we just wait for those last pallets to be produced. Didn't seem too bad in the end. Now we actually could make hay pellets now if we wanted to from this field, but no, we, we do need the uh, the hay bales ready for the mixture. You can probably put, can you put hay pellets into the mixture? You probably can do, but yeah, I don't really want to. It's just not necessary. Let me just uh, check that. Mm, maybe not. Maybe you can, I don't know. Never tried it. Don't really want to, even if you can. Palletize a refill with four bags due to saving sink. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> right, let's let's do this. Let, let's finish this field. I'll have to have a look into that in a second. So we'll leave this field just to bake a little bit more between this episode and the next one. Yep, that's me role playing again. Then in the next episode, we will come into here with the uh, windrower. We'll row it up. We'll bale it, and we'll transport the bales on the flatbed trailer on the low loader to the cow farm and we'll put them into the shed and probably while we're over there we will do another mixture total mixed ration and of course we will take out the uh, the milk we'll, we'll, we'll empty the milk out of the tank and we'll sell that because we should have a fairly good price We have reduced frame rates since building, well I guess it's since building that pallet hall, I don't know. Seems to coincide with that. Down at 43. Um, I don't know the reason behind it. It's not terrible. We'll put this tether in the shed. Out of the field, birds. <laughs> not your field. Well, they shouldn't find too much in our hay. It's not like when you've just drilled a field with seeds and they come along and eat all the seeds. Lovely. Yeah, no idea how many bells it's going to produce, but quite a few to guess because that was fully fertilised. Yeah, we'll probably put this into the shed at this end. Good place for it. We've got the windrower here, so we can well, actually we can attach to it now. Nice. So we're ready to go in the next episode. So I guess um, no. Should we finish with selling that? sort of feel like we're leaving it open here. Yeah, I don't know how much is actually left in the pelleting, uh, palleting machine. Uh, why do I struggle so much? Palletizer. The hopper is empty. So, yeah, let's just finish it. Let's just load up the final pallets onto the trailer. We'll have to double stack. and then we can get them sold. I was hoping that was going to go a bit better than that. There we go. Should be at least one more pallet.
it's nice to have the straw harvest add-on back in the game. I've always enjoyed it. Uh, this is going to go badly wrong. There. Come on, come on. I've got a trailer to catch. About time. Keep coming. You can see it actually going down. It's going down in stages. It's almost done. Actually, yeah, there might not be enough to do another pallet anyway, so that's just going to partially fill that pallet. So this is likely the last one. There is no point in waiting for it. Guess there's a chance. Slim chance. If we do get another one, we'll, we'll just take it next time we're going to the store with the front loader. But I don't think there is going to be. Nice. And it would be good to take the forklift back too, but the trailer is a bit full, so that would just have to go back another time as well. 24,000 litres. Let's get them sold. Well, it's been quite a big episode. It's been worth it. And, at the end of it all, we've managed to get quite a bit of money as well. So we've bought a tether. We had no money at the beginning of selling uh, pallets in the previous episode. And now we have £68,000. I would say that's not bad going. We've probably made about 80000 from the uh, pallets. From the pallets. Yeah, that's worth it. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.